So apparently there's this thing called a banking score that affects your ability to open checking accounts with a bank. In this video, we're going to explain exactly what a banking score is and then how to fix it if you've had trouble with banking in the past. Hey guys, welcome back to The College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. So I've never heard of a banking score before, but you'll wanna pay close attention to it if you've had trouble with banking in the past. So first, let's define what a banking score is. So a banking score is a score created by Checks Systems. Checks Systems is a credit reporting agency and it's going to measure your score between a range of 100 to 899 and the higher your score is means that you are a lower risk customer and therefore the likelihood of being able to open up different types of banking accounts. Now, the banking score is based on things like number of bounced checks, number of account closures, number of inquiries financial institutions have made about you, and how many check orders you've placed. If you've had a history of bouncing checks or you have late fees, overdraft fees, that sort of thing, there are some things that you can do to make sure that you can improve your banking score. The first thing that you want to do though is to request a report from Checks Systems. Now when I first went online to Checks Systems, they requested a whole bunch of personal information from me such as my address, social security number, that sort of thing. The interesting thing about this process of obtaining your report and obtaining your score for that matter is everything seems to still be done on manual terms. So when I filled out my information and submitted the request, I actually got a confirmation page that said that they would physically mail me my report. So this isn't an instant thing that you can get access to, which is kind of a bummer. I think you would want to know about this stuff right away, but it's a manual thing. Also, if you want your score, which is different than the report, you actually have to mail in a physical request form in order to get that score. Check out our blog post. We will have the mailing address in which you can use to request and submit that form to. It's just a big pain in order to get the score. I'm not sure why. Similar to your credit report that you would request from TransUnion, Experian, Equifax, you are entitled to one free report from Check Systems per year. So if you've had trouble banking in the past, there are actually five different ways that you can improve your banking score so that you can get access to regular checking and savings accounts. The first thing that you'll want to do is to ask your bank to waive overdue fees. Now, this doesn't always work, but if you've been banking with the same bank for a long time, who knows? They may be willing to waive some of those fees for you. You never know unless you call and ask. The second way is to ask former financial institutions to remove negative information from your checks systems report. Again, you don't know if you don't ask and call, but tell them that you are looking to improve your banking situation with them, that you've been a customer for a long time if you really have, and this could be a good benefit for you to improve that banking score. Next, you'll want to dispute errors. If there are any errors on your report and then what you see in your own transaction history and statements, you'll want to compare those two and then use that information. Send screenshots if you need to to your bank. Look for these errors and make sure you are documenting those steps along the way. The fourth step to improving your banking score is simply refining old habits. If you've had a habit of overdrafting or bouncing checks or floating checks, now's the time to pull back and take a look at what you're doing with your banking situation. It's a good idea to always have a cushion in your checking account. Aim for $1,000. Your $1,000 balance in your checking account is now your new zero. If you can focus 
on that thousand dollars as your zero balance, then you'll never run into those issues of overdrafting again. Building a buffer is one thing, knowing your account balance is another. You have got to get into the habit of checking your bank account balance. If this has been an issue in the past, knowing exactly where you stand, building in budgets will absolutely help you with this as well. Knowing what income is coming into that checking account and then knowing what cash flow is going out of that account is going to help you maintain that checking account. And you'll absolutely, I cannot stress this enough, avoid payday loans. They are the sharks of the finance world and you want to avoid them as much as possible. These are detrimental to your banking score. They're detrimental to your credit score too. So avoid, avoid, avoid. We can't stress that enough. And then you'll wanna manage your credit card responsibly. Make sure you are paying off that balance every single month back to a zero balance because this may play into your banking score. The fifth way that you can improve your banking score is to look for second chance checking accounts. We have an entire blog post dedicated to what second chance checking accounts are, but you'll want to look for checking accounts that have zero monthly maintenance fees, zero admin fees, transfer fees, all those things. You wanna make sure that these are zero fee accounts for you. And many local credit unions will offer memberships like this. So be sure to check out our blog post on second chance checking accounts if you fall within this scenario. So bank accounts undoubtedly are the easiest way to conduct your finances and just operate your financial life, operate the bills that you have to pay. It makes life so much easier than trying to do this in another way such as a prepaid debit card. Now, prepaid debit cards are acceptable forms of maybe accepting direct deposits from your employer, and there are also prepaid cards that you can use to deposit checks. The only thing about this is those prepaid debit cards, you're going to have to pay a reload fee and sometimes a fee for even cashing in checks using your prepaid debit card. Prepaid debit cards such as the Walmart money card are going to allow you to do these things and they're going to offer a bit lower of a fee than you would with check cashing outlets, but still bank accounts are going to be your best bet in terms of not paying these types of reloading fees or even just depositing checks. Over time, your banking score will improve if you follow those five steps that I mentioned and you should be able to apply for a new checking account. If you're still denied, give it six more months a year, really follow those, those healthy habits and then reapply. For more information on banking scores, those second chance checking accounts and more, be sure to visit thecollegeinvestor.com.